just a video that needs to be recorded. Needs to be recorded right about now. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, my short timers. How are we doing? I uh, want to address the haters. You gotta have them. I gotta have you. I wish I knew how to block them, but if I knew how to block them, would I really block them? Would I really want to block them? No, because they could be inspired too. Just like my lovers can be inspired. Inspired. The people that love Short Time One, the people that are subscribed to this channel, are not all haters. And I don't know the percentage, but I know you out there <laughs> watching me, waiting for me to post, waiting to critique me, waiting to see my face and hear my voice. And I love that. I love that. But my focus is not the haters. My focus is in to inspire those who need inspiration. Because we all need inspiration. We all need motivation. We all need encouragement. So that's what I'm here for. If I focus, I mean, you are what you focus on. And what you focus on, it gets bigger and expands. So if I focus on my haters, you and I focus on those who don't like us. What's that going to do? Maybe you dwelling on it too much and talking about it so much that it could create more of that. More of them. More of those type of people. So, my goal is not to focus on that, but to focus on the joy, the love, the kindness, being humble, the fruits of the Spirit, the integrity, the purpose, and the calling on my life. That is what I will continue to focus on. Because you can't stop what God is doing. He's unstoppable. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm tired of procrastinating and not getting done what needs to be done, what thus said the Lord told me to do. I'm pushing, I'm inching, I'm climbing, my fingers are in the dirt, I'm climbing up Mount Everest, seemingly impossible, but knowing that I'm possible. And so are you. So if you think you can't do something, just, just man, I'm telling you, it ain't easy. The struggle is real, but it's also what you make it. It's also what you believe about yourself. Folk is not going to like them. They not going to. Everybody ain't going to like you. I understand that. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Everybody is not going to like the light if you shining it on them. That's like the police going up to you. Flashing that baton light up in your face. Trying to see your eyes, trying to see if they read, trying to see your demeanor, your character, if you're drunk, if you slobbing, or, uh, the way you're talking, the way your lips and your mouth is moving. I'm saying, that's like you shine that light. See that light? You shine that damn light so bright, it's too bright. We like the darkness. We want to be left alone. We... You bothering us. The demons tremble when the light come around. I know that. If you don't know that, then you better know that. And the only way you gonna know that is if you're trying to live right. If you're trying to do the right thing. Ain't doing nothing. And I mean, I want to reiterate that. You ain't doing nothing wrong. But it's wrong according to the dark that you shine the light on just by being you just by not doing nothing but if you read the word of God the Bible 
which is basic instructions before leaving earth. Holy Bible is um, he only left you basic instructions before leaving earth. If you read it, it tells you about Jesus on different the different gospels. It tells you about the struggle that he went through. It tells you about his haters. It tells you about the Peters and the Judases and the and the people who killed Christians and killed his people. It tells you what he went through. It also says, who are you to not go through anything or don't think you going through something that, that Jesus didn't already experience that he didn't go through? Who are you not to go through something if you trying to live a righteous life? I didn't say a religious life. I said a righteous life according to your integrity. Your morals, your dignity, your values. If you got that and you trying just freaking trying to live right, instead of drugging and partying and cussing and hooping and hollering and fighting and hating and judging and whoo, I could go on and on and on about your words. Because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to know you, Lord. Flowing from my heart is gratefulness. Do, 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 do. I can go on and on with that song. So here's my deal. Here's my thing. When I don't know what to say, the right words come to my heart, my mind, my my spirit. And I end up seven minutes and 20 seconds worth of stuff to say. What am I afraid of? I know my potential. I know the power that's within me. What am I afraid of? A couple of few haters? 10 or 20, 50 haters? No. All my life I've had to fight. Just like Sophia on Color Purple. All my life I've had this light. It ain't going nowhere. It can't be put out. You can try to damper it. You can try to blow it. It come right back though, because that's what is resilience is. That's that's what's called resilience. You bounce back after getting knocked down. So we fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down. And God up, you can get back up again. I don't care if it's three hours, three days. I don't care if it's three weeks, three months. It ain't going to be three years before I post again and again and again. Whatever you're going through, it ain't got to be very long. You're going to come out of it. You're going to get through whatever you're in. Life is like a roller coaster. You got to go down and you got to come back up. It's inevitable. It's the law of attraction. It's the law of inevitability. Okay. You got this. We got this. God will have his way. Period. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. But they still want to try it. All you're doing is fighting against God when you go against the chosen ones. That's all you're doing. If God is in somebody and you can't see it and you're afraid of that because you, you don't understand it, especially if you knew that person from way back when. Well, it was just last year when they did this and that and that and the third and such and such and this and that. You're right. 
People do change. But some of y'all don't understand the power of God. Y'all don't understand because you don't know what happened within that last year when that person screwed up and did that, this, that, and the third, such and such, that you holding over the head, dangling over, oh, yeah, you ain't changed. How she get picked? How she got this and that? I don't see how she, I don't see how. Ain't, ain't none of your business. Stay in your own lane. Worry about you. You be all right. Get you some business. That part. It's sad. It's sad. How folk. Well, it says it in the word. It, I'm not even tripping. It says it in the word. It says man looks at outward appearance. But God looks at the heart. So men will judge you. People are going to be people. People make the world go round. Hey, I love that song. I'm a singer. That's what I do. That's what I do. And I need to do more of it, according to God. He the one gave me the songs. All the songs that I've written, he the one put them in, put them in the heart and spirit. Flowed, just flowed through the pen. Flow, flowing. Like flow a tree, for real, for real. <sighs> I feel great. I feel great. It's time to move, excuse me, forward. 2024 on and crackle hacking. This video is less than 12 minutes long, and I thank you for joining me, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.